Hello, and welcome to Michael's Minty Music. Today we are reviewing Overexposed, uh, Maroon 5's 2012 album. It's really good, although um, I had heard every song on this album in one way or another before listening to this album. Uh, so a lot of the songs were already familiar to me. Well, all of the songs were already familiar to me, and I'm not sure if I would like it as much as I do if it was the first time hearing it would yeah, if this was the first time hearing it. Uh, but anyway, I'm still able to give a review of it, so let's get into it. This is the track listing, and as I already mentioned, kind of, uh, I added every single track on this album to my playlist. And some of these tracks, uh, especially these ones at the bottom, have been on my playlist since 2018 because I had encountered these songs um, through a variety of ways before listening to this album. Uh, the... Singles off of the album were Payphone, obviously everyone knows that one, uh, One More Night, which you might remember, and both of those were on the radio along with Daylight and Love Somebody. Uh, those three all have music videos, and then they'd all be familiar to me, you if you are the same age as I am. Um, for my favorite of the album, I have to go with the Payphone, I mean... That song's just great. I, I think there are some people who really hate it, but whatever. I like it a lot. Although, um, Lucky Strike is probably very close, and depending on how I'm feeling, I might take that one over Payphone. Uh, Lucky Strike is a lot more, a lot less um, known, uh, but it's it's as good as Payphone, in my opinion. The album... Overall, it has a great flow, and it's hard for me to uh, distinguish between stuff liking the album because I have heard it before and liking the album because it's good. Uh, but I, I think it has very good, vast, and slow songs. Um, especially Sad is very good, in my opinion. And Beautiful Goodbye is a great song to end off of. Um, the back half of the album is different enough to be interesting, but not so different that it's jarring or bad. Um, so I, th I think this album is still really good, even though I'm, of course, familiar with it already. Uh, so I rank this the best Maroon album, Maroon 5 album I've heard so far, although I don't think it's very much higher than It Won't Be Soon Before Long in Songs About Jane. Um, so it may only be better because I'm familiar with it, but I do think it is better than those two. I do definitely think it's way better than Hands All Over, uh, their album that came out just two years prior, uh, before this, but um, it's definitely still a good Maroon 5 album. Uh, it doesn't take my spot for the my best album from 2012, because I love Night Visions, I did a review of that, go check it out, I mean, I love that album, that album's perfect. It would... Um, and I, I gotta say, even though it doesn't take the spot, Overexposed is good enough to offer some major competition to Night Visions. But I, I don't think I can put a Maroon 5 album above an Imagine Dragons album for me. Uh, so next up will be George Ezra's debut 2014 album, Wanted on Voyage. Uh, it's pretty good, and it wasn't as popular in the U.S. as it was in the U.K., but we still got some of the hits off of it, like uh, Budapest and stuff like that. So it, it's a pretty good album, and uh, I'm a little bit excited to review it. So, uh, you know, stay minty and stay tuned. <laughs> 